guys, uh, the next performer coming to the stage, uh, she's obsessed with cats, um, especially ones that have no tails. Put your hands together right now for Kelly Freeman, ladies and gentlemen. Kelly Freeman. my stickers myself. <laughs> Alright, um, I want to tell you a dream that I had, like, yesterday morning about cat. Uh, I, <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, she, uh, it was a nine minute nightmare. I fell asleep at, like, 10.37 and woke up, like, nine minutes later, so it was a really weird dream. And, uh, her set was not actually comedy, it was a burlesque song and dance number, and uh, I had mutual friends riding around on the ground in corsets, and it was horrifying. So, I'm really glad that didn't actually happen. But, um, yeah, okay, so, uh, I'm an atheist. Uh, that in and of itself is not particularly interesting, I guess. Um, but I've only been in Colombia for, okay, I guess it's almost been seven years. Ah. There we go. Um, but, uh, I moved here seven years from Georgia, like Atlanta area, so it was like a little bit more metropolitan. And the first question I got when I moved here wasn't like, hey, so why'd you move to Columbia? Or how are you liking the area? It was, oh, have y'all found a new church home? Which I think was kind of terrifying. Um, so in response, I didn't say yes or no. I said, actually, I'm Jewish, thanks. <laughs> um, because Judaism, it's, it's close enough where they'll still talk to you. Um, but different enough where they don't know enough to ask questions. <laughs> it's that Judeo-Christian part. Um, but it was really interesting because people would respond with, you don't really look Jewish. Um, in which, like, I would start responding with, like, just throwing out Jewish terms like Ashkenazi or Sephardic or Hasidic or Orthodox and... <laughs> it worked! Um, but the weird thing is, I also got Jewish jokes directed at me. And one dude called me his little Jewess. Um, pro tip, don't do that! <laughs> That's like calling your, like, black friend my little negress. That's really outdated and it's also really racist and it's also just kind of creepy. Um, but there was this one guy who, uh, who was nicknamed Harry Johnny. Um, his name was not Harold John, it was, he was Johnny and, uh, he was really hairy, like a human carpet. Uh, it was kind of, like, if you, like, when it rained and he shook, it was like, dog, it was weird. He also kind of smelled like a dog. Um, but Johnny was a neo-Nazi, and uh, I was a self-identified Jewish communist at this point, and Johnny thought it was a good idea to ask me out, and uh, I, I'm sad to say it was a love that was never meant to be, mostly because I said no. Um, but what's interesting about this is I know a lot of Jewish jokes, I'm sure you all do, there's Catholic jokes, black jokes, but I'm... As an atheist, there's actually not that many atheist jokes, um, but I do know one. How do you know a vagina's an atheist? Oh. It doesn't believe in the second coming! Ah! <laughs> yeah, so, um, speaking about vaginas... <laughs> uh, I was in vagina monologues, I guess it was two weekends ago? So I've been Ooh. thinking about vaginas a lot, <laughs> like you do. But, um, more specifically, I've been thinking about periods. Um, <laughs> I, I started thinking about like why they're called periods, um, because I kind of hate the word period, kind of like how I hate the word like puberty while I was going through it, uh, and it turns out periods are called periods because they're periodical. Pretty straightforward. <laughs> um, I also think that like most euphemisms of periods are dumb, like it's my time of the month where I'm not feeling my best because I'm bleeding out of my vagina. <laughs> Um, but some people like, like to call it Aunt Flo. Uh, I prefer Captain Blood Snatch. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so I have a list of other euphemisms that are a lot more colorful. And that color is red. Uh, for those of you who use tampons, uh, you may prefer to say that you're riding the cotton pony. <laughs> In Denmark, they say the communists are in the fun house. I like that one because I'm a Russian major. Also, I like the idea of like Lenin and Trotsky like with wacky mirrors. <laughs> um, in French, they say that the English have arrived. Uh, something something 
white flags, bloods on sheets, I don't know. Um, the English are flying the Japanese flag. That one requires some historical knowledge, because you need to know what the Japanese flag looks like. It's, it's red. Um, I, I, some people call it Shark Week. Um, which makes Tracy Morgan's live every week like a Shark Week a lot more terrible. Uh, I think dishonorable discharge from the uterine navy is a nice one. Uh, but my favorite has got to be Alabama is playing a home game. Because they're the Crimson Tide and they're playing down south. Uh, Alright, so now we're going to talk about period sex. Uh, deal with it! You know what? It's not that bad. Put down a goddamn towel. I mean, honestly, like, what man doesn't want to look at you? He's killed another man with his dick. <laughs> yeah, think about it. So, I mean, honestly, guys, like, ride the Crimson Tide and make those red coats come. I, I like the runes, actually. <laughs> I'm gonna give you the red badge of courage, and I'll make any man an Eagle Scout. <laughs> um, and for any man who decides to like brave this, I'm gonna give you a few pickup lines so you can use. Hey baby, you from Detroit? You look like a Red Wings fan. <laughs> How about you work like Moses and part my Red Sea? <laughs> How about we check into the Red Roof Inn? <laughs> Why does it smell like a fish kill? I bet it's the Red Tide. <laughs> Probably shouldn't use that. Uh, okay, and just point of information, when you're thinking about the vagina, it's actually the vulva, like includes like the labia majora, the minora, the clit, and uh, I call mine the flower patch. <laughs> and uh, speaking of vaginas, I, like most people my age, have a roommate. Uh, uh, um, he's actually the first person I've lived with that I haven't dated, or was my family, I guess. Um, and he's an interesting character, uh, you could say. Um, he's, he smokes a lot of weed, <laughs> like most roommates, I guess. <laughs> um, but what's really interesting is he's, he's not really well versed in food, and I really like food. Um, like, I told, I came home with, I was like, hey, I got butter, and he's like, I already have butter in there, and he's like, he said, uh, it's country crock, and I'm like, that's, that's not butter, that's margarine. And, uh, I had a roommate that literally couldn't believe it wasn't butter. <laughs> what, and then uh, he had some really great quotes after that. He's like, it's like I'm living in a post-margarine world. I need to go make actual toast now. And then he's like, one day you're going to tell your children about your roommate who couldn't believe it wasn't butter. Uh, and I'm going to leave you guys with some food thoughts. They're not particularly funny, but I just want to voice my thoughts about food, because I think a lot about food. Because I like to eat it. I, thought, I think about pancakes a lot, and how there's cakes made in a pan. But I'm wondering if you can use cake batter to make pancakes. That means you can have like funfetti pancakes. Or red velvet pancakes. I know. I don't know if this works, but I'll report back to you. <laughs> and uh, what would cotton candy be like if it didn't have any flavor? We like eating cobwebs. <laughs> and I will admit that I did eat butter as a child. <laughs> I'm just saying I did. Um, I have friends who are allergic to bananas, and that's really- No, that's weird! It's like, didn't you know you evolved from goddamn apes? Like, who the fuck's allergic to bananas? <laughs> And also, I feel like there should be a chocolate spread that is like peanut butter, but chocolate. And I don't mean like Nutella, I mean like chocolate spread. So then you can have like a peanut butter chocolate sandwich. Think about it. <laughs> and uh, so the other day I made mac and cheese with almond milk and I was like, vegan! And then I was like, but there's bacon. <laughs> and cheese. I can't vegan. <laughs> I'm Kelly. Keep it going for Kelly Freeman, ladies.